Hi, I'm Anastasia. I'm a luxury bag lover, addict and collector and I also own a consignment store and you can check out the link below to see what's available right now. In this video, I would love to talk about Louis Vuitton authentication. <laughs> Some time ago, I came across a Neverfull on a local marketplace and uh, I was thinking about buying the bag. I already have had this one, so I was buying it basically to replace the workhorse. I've been authenticating Louis Vuitton for five years, guys, and uh, I can tell based on pictures if the bag is real or fake. And usually that's quite easy, right? But in this case, I was in a hurry, I was meeting someone, and when the seller sent me the photos, I said, yes, I'm gonna take it. And thankfully, the transaction was protected because the bag turned out to be fake. Thankfully, I was able to uh, return the bag to the seller. However, before that, I made a video for you just to see how good fakes can be. I rarely come across a bag which is almost identical to the original Neverfull model, right? Because it all depends on pictures, right? Each bag can be photographed in a way that uh, it appears to be authentic. And if the seller knows what to uh, hide, they don't usually, well, the scammers don't uh, make a clear photos of the heat stamp, of the date code, of all the details that don't match the original model. And if they know what to hide, they can easily make photos and make the bag appear authentic. All right, now let's watch the video comparison between a fake Neverfull and a real Neverfull with a thorough explanation. All right, guys, we have two Neverfulls here and they do look very, very similar. I mean, the Vachetta, the patina on the Vachetta, they do look authentic, but are they? Now, let's examine the first bag, the weight of the bag. And what you don't see on the video is that this bag is a little more heavier than this one. This one is lightweight and nice, but uh, it's not very heavy, I mean, the difference is not that bad. Now let's move on to the glazing on the handles and you can clearly see very, very red glazing on the first one. On the second Neverfull, the glazing looks a little faded, has the maroon shade, right? And uh, well, if, you've, if you're familiar with Louis Vuitton authentication, you know immediately that the first bag is fake. Look at the stitching. The stitches here are a little sloppy, which we can take into account. It's not a 100% authentication factor. Here, the stitching is nicer. You can see that. But I can tell you for a fact that Louis Vuitton also has sloppy stitching. So we can take that into account, but that's not, I mean, a 100% guarantee it's fake. Let's now examine the inside. And the inside looks great actually now i'll show you the heat stamp the heat stamp also looks good and very nice and clean i mean the font looks okay and if we take a look at the font here and the inside here also very similar to what we've already seen and the font looks okay everything's fantastic everything's good now let's move on to the sides because uh, I know that many people say that a Neverfull, uh, the, the uh, print on the Neverfull must match uh, uh, on an authentic bag and if it doesn't match, I, I mean the, the, uh, this fleur-de-lis element, if it doesn't match, uh, this, the sides don't match each other, then it's a fake one. But as you can see, it match, it, it's matching in here and there and well, it's not an authentication factor basically. Now let's compare this small element um, and we see that, well, it's very similar, it's almost identical, but as we move on to the um, end of the side cinch, 
you can see that there's a lot of red glazing here and actually if you look very closely the font on this metal element the Louis Vuitton engraving is different it has different font now let's move on and examine the interior uh, this this metal buckle it's different right um, a little more stitches here on the red glazing fake neverfull and i want you to always take that into account when you were authenticating a neverfull because it matters and of course the one with the red glazing is a fake now what i really want to show you is an inside pocket there is a zipper and if you look closely at the bag at both bags you will see that the zipper has different color at first you might think that uh, well there are a lot of neverfulls and they were released like every year and maybe um, one year they released a neverfull with another zipper but actually that's also a sign of a fake neverfull at least when we're uh, speaking about monogram right and uh, what amazed me in this neverfull is the date code Here's the date code of a fake bag. And I mean, you can see how good is it? And that's a real date code, which is almost exactly the same. And well, when I saw this date code on photos, I didn't even know that uh, this bag can be fake. If we compare them, they do look very, very closely. It's not like, you know, a $10 fake with a sloppy and uh, unrealistic, uh, the date code that's not legit. Well, overall, oh, sorry. Overall, this bag is fake. And uh, well, you can see that from the red glazing. You can see, oh, you can also see that. By the way, interesting thing. Here is the out, uh, inside pocket of a fake Neverfull. Uh, look, it doesn't have any stitches here. And here's a uh, pocket of the real Neverfull that also has uh, the backside stitches from the heat stamp. So now you've seen a very, very good fake uh, from for a never full bag the left one is fake the right one is real the left one is fake the right one is real all right guys i hope it was useful well it was super useful and interesting for me to do this video because that was the first time i had a really good fake in my hands i don't usually you know touch a lot of fakes um, however, that was a useful experience in terms of knowing how good fakes can be. Because I know a lot of people say that uh, we can easily determine if Louis Vuitton is real or fake. Uh, well, the fakes are sloppy, they don't look like authentic bags. Well, they do look like authentic bags and they do have some giveaways though. In terms of that Neverfull, um, the photos I've seen when I purchased it, they were in completely different lighting and the glazing didn't appear that red. And the date code appeared to be okay, the uh, heat stamp appeared to be okay, everything appeared to be okay, but it turned out to be fake. That's why it's super important to authenticate every bag that you're buying, especially if you're not sure, if you have any shade of doubt, even if you don't have it, I'd suggest to authenticate it. And we do authenticate Louis Vuitton for $10 fee, so if you need to authenticate something, I will be glad to help you. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed the videos and uh, subscribe to the channel to stay in touch and to watch more videos on authentication, luxury bag reviews and all the super important topics for us bagaholics. Thank you for watching. Bye.